In this video we will go through the setup for your SR81 solar controller. First up, we will be setting up the timer. This is very simple, by pressing the clock button you will see the hour will start flashing. Uh, set up your time by using the plus and minus keys to set the desired time. Press the clock button again to shift over to the minutes and to adjust your desired time for the minutes. Lock your time in by pressing the clock button again. Next uh, we'll go through the activation of the T3 sensor. First step will be to select the desired sensor for the hot water tank. First press set, THET will appear, press set again, THS will appear with S3 at the bottom, press set again, S3 will start flashing, use the plus or minus buttons to select the S2 sensor, press set again to lock it in and exit to enter out of all options. Next step, uh, we will be setting up the differential. Press set button, THE will appear, press the plus button twice to the password screen, press set button five times to run through, load will appear, press set again, DTO will appear, press set 06 will appear, adjust this with the plus button to get a differential of 8 degrees for when the pump must go on. Press set to lock it in, press the plus button three times to get to the sensor, make sure this is on sensor two. Lock it in by pressing set and exit out of all options. Next we'll be running through the timer setup for electric element. Uh, press the set button, THET, press the set button again, the THS sensor 2 that we set up earlier will be still showing, press the plus button to get to SMT, press the set button to set this to on by using the plus and minus keys, press set again to lock it in, Press the plus button, you'll get to your T81, your start timer. Press the set button, the hours will start flashing. Enter your desired start time for the element to be switched on. Press the set button again to change the minutes with the plus and minus keys. Press set again to lock it in. Uh, TH1 Temperature will be on 40 degrees. Set this up to 48 minimum degrees. And press set to lock that in. Next, press the plus button. You'll go to TH1F, the off time. Press the set button. Your hour will start flashing. Put in the desired off time. Press set to move over to the minutes, select your desired time by the plus and minus keys, press set again and then your highest temperature setting, we advise to set this up to 55 degrees Celsius. Press the set button to lock it in, press the plus key and you have three periods of time you can set for each day but the element must come on press the exit key to exit out of all options next we'll be setting up the minimum and maximum temperatures of the solar system press the set key THET will appear press the plus button up to the password screen press set button five times to run through the password, press the set button, DTO will appear, 
press the set button to adjust this up to 8 degrees by using the plus and minus keys for the differential of 8 degrees between the panel and the tank. Press the set button to lock it in, press the plus button to get to DTF, press the set button to adjust your minimum differential for the pump to be switched off. Press the set button again, press the plus button to SMX, this is your maximum geyser temperature. Press the set button to lock it in, press the plus button again and make sure your SMX is still on sensor 2. Lock it in by pressing set, press the plus button. HYST will appear, this will be set to 2 degrees, that is the minimum temperature that it will drop from 70 degrees before the system will re-engage and start heating the geyser again. Press exit to exit all options. Next we will go through the minimum maximum panel temperature setting, we will be setting this to off. Press the set button, THET will appear. Press the plus button twice to get to the password screen. Press set five times to run through the password screen. Load will appear. Press the plus button once. CRL will appear. Press the set button. OCEM. Press the set button again. This will be on default on on. Press the set button and switch this off by using the plus or minus keys. Press it again to lock it in and then exit all options. Next we'll be going through the holiday mode function. This is very easy to activate by pressing and holding the holiday button for 5 seconds. HJ will appear with uh, numerics at the bottom flashing. You can set this by pressing the plus and minus keys. This will indicate the number of days you want to activate the holiday mode function. By pressing holiday mode again, you will see a little suitcase on the left center above the tank. Uh, how to act, deactivate it? Just by pressing the holiday button once, the little suitcase will disappear. Next, we'll be running through the freeze protection on your solar collector. We start by pressing the set button, THET will appear. Press the plus adjust button twice, get to the password screen. Press set five times to get to the load option. Press the plus to get to the COL option. Press set OCEM. Press the minus key to get to OCFR. Press the set button. We select this to be on to activate your freeze protection function. Press set to lock it in. Press the minus key to get to the CIFR setting. Press the set and adjust this up to 8 degrees Celsius to indicate when your freeze protection should stop. Press the set button to lock it in. Press the minus key to get to CFRO. Press the set button. Press the plus and minus keys. To set this all the way up to 7 degrees to indicate when your freeze protection should start. Press the set button to lock it in and press the X and to option all, the, all options. That is how to set up your SR81 controller. Thank you very much for watching.